When humans endure starvation during periods of severe weather or during human conflicts such as war, their children and their grandchildren have been reported to have altered metabolism. So that saying you are what you eat should really be you, your children and your grandchildren are what you eat. Now, starvation could be affecting many different genes that are each making different proteins, making studies across generations a challenge. What we really need is to change one gene and to study that across generations. It was recently discovered that you could stop production of proteins by silencing the gene that makes those proteins. This was done by adding molecules called double-stranded RNA or dsRNA to silence a matching gene. This process of RNA interference was first discovered in the nematode that I study, this tiny little worm called C. elegans, but has since been reported in many animals, including humans. Now, amazingly, you can just feed dsRNA to these worms and silence genes in many different cells, and the silencing can then be seen in its progeny. But we don't completely understand how this dsRNA has this effect on the animal or in its progeny. So when I fed dsRNA to silence a gene that makes the worm long, the worm now became short. And when I fed dsRNA to silence a gene that causes the worms to fluoresce, the worm stopped glowing. Now using this system with visible defects, I discovered that the initial dsRNA that was fed can move through the animal to reach different cells to cause silencing. However, silencing wasn't always detected in descendants. In fact, in most cases, silencing could only be detected for one generation. But we found one case where silencing was detected for more than 15 generations. So I'm now working on understanding why there are these differences for inheritance of gene silencing. Now, my work on silencing by dsRNA in this tiny worm could inform what happens in some other settings, and I have three great examples. One, dsRNA is being sprayed on plants as a pesticide to kill the insects that eat these plants and consequently the dsRNA. Two, dsRNA is being explored as a potential therapeutic to silence genes that cause diseases. But most excitingly, RNAs have been found in human blood, and these RNAs could be changing in disease conditions or upon exposure to starvation. So understanding how these RNAs cause silencing across generations could teach us about how diseases are inherited and how experiences like starvation could affect us, our children, and generations to come.